Hi y'all, it's Nick. Um, I'm back here with actually a canvas that my daughter, whoops, had gotten. It was a Monster Ink for uh, my granddaughter. She actually started working on it. So there is a few drills on there. Um, but she noticed as she was going along, and yes, there's um, creases in here. But once uh, she showed me all the the really bad bubbles and rivers, she gave up on it. She was going to throw it out. I said, don't do that. I can use it for a video. And me being me, I have a little bit more patience. So sometimes I can um, work around everything and make it come out pretty good. So I figured I'd use this for my video today. And uh, before I get started, uh, again, I am not new to diamond painting. I have been uh, diamond painting for over a year and a half. I don't have all the answers um, with this hobby. A lot of things come up, a lot of problems. Everybody seeks out what works for them. Something that may work for me may not work for you, but you don't know until you try. So it's a trial and error thing. I think we learn something new about this hobby every day. So as you can see, I'm trying to keep the glare down, but some of the rivers on this side, which I've already scored them with my exacto knife across this one and this one um i'm gonna try actually something new today normally i would score it with the exacto knife push this back down rub it down really good sometimes this will work again sometimes it does not but um i've noticed a lot of times even if you get it out of one space the air might travel down through and then you end up getting drills on there that do not push it down and then you end up having lines that actually pop up with the drills in it once you're done so today i thought you know another way that i've heard to do is turn it over and um heat it with an uh, iron for a little for a few minutes so and I've done that too on one it didn't seem to help but I thought maybe a combination of both uh, scoring like I said I actually scored this one across and this one across and I figured you know what I'll flip it over and I'll try the best of both here so, I'll put a towel down. And I have my um, iron already on and warmed up. It's only on a medium. It's about between a two and a three. Uh, my knob only goes up to six, I believe. So I figured, you know what, best of both worlds, I'll try both. If anything, I'll get a tea towel that's pretty pressed. It's kind of difficult here because I don't have much room. All right, just a few minutes. Take the towel off flip it back over. I'll get a bit of a few seconds to uh, cool down before I pull that back up. But uh, another problem solved that I actually had seen out there too is especially with the real thick rivered ones like actually this one right here would be a good one to show and actually that reflection that's right there that's the size of that river 
So it's pretty, pretty far across. Actually, I don't even know if it's, yeah, it does almost go across, but you can see like right here how wide it is. So the other idea that I have seen that I haven't actually done yet because it's been a while since I've had any deep rivers like this, but I figured, you know what, take the X-Acto knife, cut across, and actually I just cut into that bubble, if you can see, it actually pulled up right there. And since this is one of those that are double-sided sticky tape one, it's not one of the poured glows. I'm just going to pull this up because at this point, since it did rip up, it won't lay flat and your drills won't lay flat. It's kind of hard trying to do it looking in the mirror or the camera at the same time of course then I'm getting stuck to it but what I would do is actually try to cut that whole bubble out Pull it up. Of course, it won't go right on camera, so I'll just show you the. And then I would take another piece of double side sticky tape, lay it down, pull it off. And then see if that helps. Obviously, as I'm actually looking at this more and more, this may be one that I may not be able to fix. But maybe once I'm in the mood to try to work on something that's going to take a little bit of patience and time, maybe I'll pull this one back out. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you a few of those steps that might help. And then back with this one, this was the side that I scored them and then uh, ran the heat over it. Now, as you can see, you could still see them, but then you won't really know if they're really gone or not until you uh, place some drills on. But again, this mainly was to give you ideas of how to fix the rivers and the air bubbles, especially if you're new at this. Um, again, I'm just putting it out there um, that I am not new to this. I've seen a lot. I've, you know, figured things out on my own. I've YouTubed certain problems. And everybody has their own little um, thing that may work for them as far as this hobby is concerned. I've seen that this is a trial and error thing. Something that may help somebody may not help you, but at least it's out there and at least it's something that you can give it a try and see if it does work. The only thing you're going to lose is time, but maybe if you can uh, save a painting that you spent a lot of money on that, or that means something to you, it's worth that try. But thanks for your time. Give me a comment, share, like, Subscribe. Until next time, have a good day. Bye.